I just said, you know, instead of beating around the bush, I'm just going to burn the thing. You know, I'm just going to burn the piece. Worst case, what can happen? The reason I started working with a blowtorch is because of the subject of the work. The subject of the work always been uh, human aggression towards humanity and towards nature. It's always a cycle between creating and destructing. In nature, the cycle of life and death, it's a natural cycle. When you add humanity into the picture, it always, in a way, disrupts the natural cycle of nature. But what happens at the end is that nature reclaims its own and at the end it all comes to what it was before man took it over. I'm using the blowtorch as a paintbrush and since the work is multi-layered, in between the layers I use the blowtorch to create color by burning different materials. For instance, the only colors that I'm using is black or white, so any other color that is seen in the piece is the result of a fusion of different materials by the blowtorch. Each side is trying to control the other side's resources and take over. So it's more like a, a, a conflict or um, a struggle between two sides to survive. Nature v versus humanity and culture. Very similar to a shipwreck. A boat or a ship sinks into the bottom of the ocean. Very quickly, the ocean, the nature part, is growing within the ship, is, is taking over it. And the ship is still there, but all of a sudden it becomes an environment that is different than what it was before. But by nature trying to reclaim uh, its property back, it leads into and grows into the structure so if you see the flowers or the wires that are growing from the windows that are growing from the structure or from the turbine or from the gears in a way that is uncontrolled they coming from an unexpected uh, places although sometimes very delicate they're taking over the structure